Hi, I'm Bill Pop, President and CEO of the Anchorage Economic Development Corporation. This video is part of a series that breaks down AEDC's 2023 Economic Forecast Report. Thank you to North Rim Bank for sponsoring this video series. In this episode, we'll talk about oil and gas. Employment in Anchorage's oil and gas sector ended 2022 with 1,500 jobs, down 127 jobs from 2021. Now, the loss of additional jobs in this sector continues a downward trend in oil and gas employment in Anchorage, which began in 2016 as oil prices declined. This trend accelerated during the pandemic. Sector employment is now more than 2,000 jobs below the 2015 peak, down by 60 percent. Now, despite the sustained loss of employment, Alaska's oil and gas sector has reason for optimism. Oil prices averaged over $100 a barrel in 2022, the highest annual average in nearly a decade. Several large projects are on the development horizon, and several other North Slope units are poised for increased activity. As development on these projects begins on the North Slope, AEDC expects that Anchorage oil and gas employment will see a moderate increase of 100 jobs in 2023. Key factors impacting Alaska's oil and gas industry include Santos having announced a final investment decision on the PICA project in 2022, and gravel work and other surface facility construction on-site have started. The company expects the project will support 2,000 short-term construction jobs in Alaska and 800 operational jobs once PICA Phase 1 is completed. Now, while contingent on the U.S. Bureau of Land Management's final environmental impact statement and record of decision for the Willow Oil Project, ConocoPhillips plans to begin road and other gravel infrastructure projects in 2023. If developed, the Willow Project is expected to support 2,000 short-term construction jobs and 500 operational jobs throughout Alaska. Development projects will also be drilled and produced from existing infrastructure at ConocoPhillips' other units in 2023, including Fjord West, Narwhal, and West Sac. Production at Great Bear Pantheon's Alkyde Test Well is slated to begin soon and will be trucked to a nearby pump station for sale on the North Slope. The company estimates the Alkyde Horizon has between 90 and 135 million barrels of recoverable oil and Hillcorp continues work at Legacy Fields on the North Slope and in Cook Inlet. Unit expansion efforts are ongoing at Prudhoe Bay, and production at the field is expected to increase. Hillcorp produces 85% of the natural gas used for heating and electricity production in South Central Alaska. The company recently announced they may not be able to provide new natural gas contracts as existing contracts expire between 2024 and 2033 due to lack of natural gas reserves. 